All right, today we're here at Western Iowa Tech in our motorcycle and power sports technology lab. And as we start working on electrical, a lot of problems we can get into is people want to just sit and pull and yank on these wires. And we're trying to separate this connector right here. And we got a couple little tips. You know, one of the first things, uh, we're going to determine how long it's been on there. If it's an older bike, uh, we're worried about it being fragile or it's going to break. But you can see here we have a white connector and a black connector. And this little tab in here is a locking tab. We need to be able to release that. Well, one of the tips I like to do on this particular connector is be able to use leverage. I'm going to take a straight blade screwdriver. Mitch, can you see that in the camera? Yeah. Okay. And I'm basically going to release the clip, and then I'm going to pry this in between, lifting these two apart. And it takes a couple times here. I'm probably going to block the view for a second here. But basically, you'll see I'm going to... Do this without breaking this. I gotta go around the top here. Get enough leverage here. And this one is on here pretty damn good. It's hard with the camera here. I'm trying not to block it. If I block, if I uh, don't get this released, and I try and probably, can you see in the camera how it's kind of released itself now? It's, it's lower than this point here, and now I can hopefully go in here and basically wiggle this back and forth, and I get to the point where I'll now get the connector apart, and I can go in here and do my testing. If you do not release, can we get a focus on this from the side here? Can you see the ramp here on, oops, don't scratch the gas tank, that's a bad deal. Uh, if you can get a, a, a view of this uh, ramp right here, that's what we're pushing down, and we're releasing from the other connector here. I don't know if I'm blocking it. You'll have to tell me. No, no, you're not. I'm not blocking it. So I'm pushing down. You can see here, even as I push with my hand, it's awkward. If I simply just sit and pull on these wires, I'm going to break this connector. I'm going to break the, the wires, and we're going to have a problem. Let's see if I can take the bike harness side here, and you can see what we're engaging into, this track right here. It, release tabs are super important that we get them uh, pressed down before we try and take them apart. Now, a connector like this, we have a, uh, another release tab on it. And the other thing I can recommend, any type of release tab, you actually want to take the connector, push it together. That's going to unload that. you got to think about it. When the connector is fully engaged, it's actually uh, uh, holding tension on that. So if we push the connector together, we can hit the release tab and then pull it apart. It's almost impossible to take one of these connectors apart without releasing the tab uh, first by pushing it together. Does that make sense? So there's a quick tip on how to get these apart. On going back together, we would lube this up really well with dielectric grease, not just regular grease. We want to use dielectric grease, and it's just going to come apart so much easier for the, for the future.